So, again, like the other video, this video, it's not really gonna have that much editing, right? No, fa no special effects like that, because, um, I'm just gonna tell you that I made it. Now, through the whole two months journey <coughs> of carcinoids and stuff, I officially made it. And my surgery was on Tuesday. They unfortunately couldn't spare any of it, so I am left with now one lung. But don't worry, I am going to be okay. I am not going to die. I mean, I hope, but I'm not going to... I'm 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 going to be okay. I'm okay now. I'm still going to be okay 10 years from now. Everything's going to be fine. Well, you know, unless something else happens. But for now, I'm fine. Um it really really hurts over here, which is why my right arm probably won't move that much. But yeah. Um everything is doing great. My recovery is doing great. Yeah, everything's going well. My arm could be better, but, you know, that's where they made the incision, and that's where they had my chest tube, which was still very creepy. I don't want to know how that worked, because, uh, yeah, that's a definitely a very different story here. But that's, um, that's, that's my status right now. But before that, I want to tell you guys what has been going on. So I'm going to quickly pull up a calendar. And I'm going to show you guys what's been going on here. Because we think that I've had this tumor for a, quite a while. So now these tumors are apparently, they grow very slowly, right? Some tumors grow really fast, some go really slow. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go all the way up to March. So this is when I first saw my symptoms. March 18th was tennis triads. I remember that. Um, because that was when I literally just shut down. I went to tennis tryouts. They finished. My grandpa picked me up. I just laid on the couch for the rest of the day. They were so painful. I had chills. All of that. It was just not, it was not my day. <laughs> so then, fast forward a few days. I don't remember how many days it was. I think we left today. I stayed home Tuesday. Then Wednesday we went to the ER, or no, we went to the went to the doctor on the twentieth, which she told us to get an X-ray, which then we found out it was collapsed lung. So then I think that day we went to the ER, got admitted to the hospital the next day, and you know we were just you know there. But the reason why. We had to go to the ER was because we thought that my lung had collapsed. Obviously, that's not the case here. But that's what the tumor was kind of like showing. Or maybe, I'm not really sure. I think that's kind of what happened. Right? Like the tumor was blocking it. So it kind of looked like it was collapsed. But it wasn't. So now anyway, let's rewind a, a lot here. Let's go all the way back to August of 2023. As you can see, I had an Italy trip, which was very fun for the except for the where I had pneumonia. But that was interesting because first seven days totally fine, no problem in Venice. Everything went well. I was up. I was out. I was active. Everything went perfect. It was when we got on the train that kind of slowed things down. So when we got on the train, I didn't really feel that well. But, we didn't obviously know what was going on because, you know, we're in Italy. We can't really go to the doctor there. It's not like worldwide Northwell Health here. But, what happened was, I got a lot of rest there. I got a little better. But, we still went to the doctor just to find out. We went to the doctor, obviously, after we came home. And then, they tested me for everything. Nothing. Everything came back negative, which was good. And then, that's pretty much it. So then, what happens was, uh, we go home. And then I feel the same thing that I felt in March. Now, this is back in August, right? So, you can compare either one to either one. 
And now, after that, my mom's just like, I can't do this anymore. So we went to urgent care to find out what was going on, right? They told us to go to the ER. I think that's how it went. I'm not perfectly... My memory's a little blank from the anesthesia, but I think that's how it went. I'm probably missing a piece, but it's not that important. So then, same thing. We go to the ER, right? We get admitted, and they do, like, a CT scan or whatever. They, like, you know, scan me and do that stuff. And comes back as pneumonia in my right lung. Hmm, wonder why that is. So now, right, that's a little scary, but they give me medicine, and I'm done. And now, fast forward all the way... To March, I feel exactly the same as how I felt that same day in August. So, we go back to the ER and, you know, again, same story. But this time, they found the tumor, and obviously that's how everything unfolded. So now, some of you know this, some of you don't know this, but the original surgery was supposed to be on April 29th, right here. But, I got a cold, and it was not the cold part, it was the virus that caused the cold that they didn't like. So, yeah. Another thing that interfered, that it just had to interfere. And a funny story, uh, the, this whole week before here, I didn't feel well either. So, yeah, no. I, I was, honestly, I thought I had another cold. I think I did. And I I got better because I was able to go to the surgery. Like, they tested me and nothing happened. But still, very, very risky. So that was basically the story of the past six months. Very, very interesting story. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know what's been happening and how it's been happening. Because there's been a lot of confusion. People saying I have cancer, you know. It's technically a, it, it was technically a cancer it was a tumor which is a type of cancer so you could say that just i i don't really know i mean i don't really like calling it cancer because it's not a it's not like cancer cancer it's like i said it's a tumor um but like that's it it's not spread duh cuz like you know it's out it's not spread it's not you know a blood cancer like thing my mom had back in 2020 but yeah it's just it's just a tumor right and eventually that we got i asked the doctors they said that if this obviously went untreated it would eventually kill me because it just keeps growing and growing and growing very very slowly so it would probably would have killed me mm, maybe in 15 years because they think i had it like way before august which is very, very scary. So, yeah. Very serious stuff here. But luckily, I'm in one piece. They were able to get it out perfectly fine. And I'm just in recovery mode for now. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, And yeah, I will see you in the next video. I probably won't be streaming this weekend. But maybe next weekend. I'm not sure. I will update you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This really hurts to do it, but I'm going to try anyway.